With 100 days to go until Nigeria's 2023 general elections campaign season is in full swing, the February 2023 ballot is expected to be a tight race to replace President Mahmoudou Buhari. The polls come as Nigeria battles an environmental crisis, with floods submerging large parts of the country. Security and economic challenges are also top of the agenda for many of the candidates. To give us a little more insight on the road to the 2023 polls, we are now joined by Nigeria's High Commissioner to South Africa, Haruna Manta. Your Excellency, very good evening. Thanks so much for your time today. Now, when you look at that landscape, an estimated 95 million people, re 95 million people registered to vote, 177,000 polls almost, and three months to go. How ready is Nigeria for this next election? Um, good evening, and thank you for having me and giving me the opportunity to address you this evening. The preparations for the 2023 elections, uh, which are due in January and in February, is in top gear. Mm. And the Independent National Electoral Commission has concluded preparations and are very much ready. We have been having a lot of dialogue with the, all the stakeholders, the non-governmental organizations, as well as the social institutions that would observe, as well as uh, participate in the elections. This is not to say that the political parties are going to be concerned with only seeking for votes. They are also uh, joining the government as well as the INEC in ensuring that the elections are going to be peaceful, they are going to be fair and credible. This assurance has been echoed by President Mohammed Buhari at different fora that it will be a legacy of his administration to hand over to a government that was elected fairly in an election that is transparent and credible. Now, Your Excellency, you, you talk about security as, as one of those things that uh, uh, President Buhari will take care of, but there are fears around security issues. In fact, uh, we understand that security agents connected to the Independent National uh, Electoral Commission uh, have been faced with the security challenges, including abductions. Yes, we, we've been having security challenges that are very much uh, uh, known across the sub-region, not only in Nigeria. We do have the Boko Haram as well as the Isuwa, and then we have some militancy in the south, but the security uh, issues are sporadic. They are not of a continuous nature, and the security agencies are up in arms against the insurgents. This is also uh, premise on the fact that the joint multilateral national force mm. is also on the ground, which means the there is a regional approach to the security challenges. And I can assure you that uh, we have had a very, very successful operations against the, the insurgents and security challenges, especially in the north in recent weeks. Now the security, yes. Now, the let's security talk about agents in arms against them. Your Excellency, let's talk a little bit about the front runners for next year's uh, polls. Um, who are the front runners and, and on what will they bring to the people of Nigeria? Honestly, Nigeria is a very dynamic country that is democratically matured. Mm. Our electorate are also very, very mature. But going by what we have in the press or in the newspapers, we expect that uh, the ruling party, APC, remains the party to beat. Mm. The, the major uh, uh, opposition party, which is the PDP, the People's Democratic Party, is also very much on the ground and running. We have also the Workers' Party, the Labour Party. 
the Labour Party is also running and doing very well. So those three are, are seen as the front runners and that it's going to be a race between the three major parties. Yeah. We do also have other parties that, uh, like the SDP, we have the PRP, we have the ADC, all, all very, very numerous parties mm. that are equally going to show credible uh, participation in this time around. Your Excellency, we're going to have to leave it there this evening. That was uh, Haruna Manta, Nigerian High Commissioner to South Africa, unpacking for us uh, the impending 2023 election scheduled for February.